Hi guys, Mr. Offwaffles here. If I told you that Treyarch had changed the name of one of their zombies maps, would you believe me? Well, you'd better believe me because that's exactly what they've done to the new DLC 1 zombies map that we previously were referring to as Der Eisendrachen, something like that. I don't speak German, so my pronunciation is probably way off the mark, but now they've changed it to Der Eisendrache, or Der Eisendrache, or I don't know how you pronounce it, I'd love for a German to let me know in the comments section, sorry for butchering the word. So, this map means the Iron Dragon, that's the map name, that's what it translates to in English. But why the name change? Why the removal of this N from the end of the word? Well, previously, loads and loads of my German viewers were very rightly complaining that it didn't actually mean the Iron Dragon. It meant the Iron Kite, and it didn't really make sense to anyone that it would be called the Iron Kite when it could so easily be called the Iron Dragon, which is a much, much cooler name in my opinion. Now, I actually tweeted out a poll because I was so confused about it, and so many of my viewers were as well, on Twitter. These are the results. Clearly, a couple hundred people thinking that the translation was the Iron Kite was enough for Treyarch to justify changing it over to being the Iron Dragon for real now with Der Eisendrache. Something like that. Again, the pronunciation is going to be completely foobar. Sorry about that. That is by no means all, though, because alongside the fact that they've changed the name, they've also given us a much higher resolution version of that original image that they revealed the zombies map with. They revealed the entire map pack, in fact, Awakening, and over the last couple of days, they've given us individual images of each map, they've gone through the multiplayer maps, and now we've been given the zombies one as well. And so we have a description, which right now only actually reads that this is the next installment in the Zombies Saga, so no new info there, but if there is new info later tonight, I'll upload another video, so stay tuned for that, make sure you're subscribed. But we also obviously have the image. So on the right side, previously we could make out one rocket. We could see that there was a rocket back there, and it had these crane things next to it, just like you'd expect really with any standard rocket. The interesting thing now is that there's not just one rocket, there's not just two rockets, there are at least three, if not more. There are a load of rockets in the area around this castle. For those of you that aren't aware, we actually predicted that this is exactly where the map would take place. It's Hohenwerfer Castle in Austria, back when the original scraps of paper on Shadows of Evil were pieced together, because it puts us in a location that is very, very, very nearby this castle, and is also near the biggest ice cave in the world. It's a perfect location for a map in which the mountain will be searched for the frozen one, and you've got this castle that is the Alcatraz of the Alps. It's so perfect as a map location, but we'll talk about that more in future videos. For now, let's talk further about some of the new stuff we can see in this image, because there is an awful lot of cool stuff in here. So we've got the castle itself, that's all fine and dandy, all well and good. We've got the wall that goes from the bell tower on the left side down to the path on the right that then leads to one of the rockets by the looks of things. Now, when I last uploaded a video about this, a lot of people in the comments section and also on Twitter were saying, Mr. Ruffle Waffles, you've missed something big, buddy. There's a dragon in the image. And I was like, holy guacamole, there's a dragon? And they were saying that the head of the dragon was on the left side of the wall, just next to the bell tower, and it sort of snaked along the top of the wall all the way down towards the right side of the image, which is now really the center of the image, where that other building is, which has a path coming out of it that leads to one of the rockets. Honestly, I'm in two minds about this, because a part of me thinks that there being an actual iron dragon just sleeping on a wall in a zombies map is completely preposterous and would never be the case. But this thing on the left, I, for the life of me, cannot make out what it is. I'm gonna zoom in on it so you can have another look I just don't know what on earth this is meant to be. If this is meant to be part of the castle wall that has been uprooted somehow, then what on earth has happened to this damn castle? Obviously, it's been sort of under maybe either attack or it's decayed over the years because the castle bit in the background, you can see that keep is really rather worn down on that one side. But for the wall to be bashed up in such a way that it's all spiky and uprooted like this, it's just peculiar, man, and so 
I completely understand where people were coming from when they were saying, guys, it's an iron dragon, can't you see? That's the head, that's the eye, and then it snakes along the wall. I completely see where those people were coming from. Personally, if I had to guess, I'd say that it's just a bashed up wall that has been illustrated extremely strangely, but it definitely is peculiar. As I mentioned, we can also see some rockets here. We have a rocket in the very bottom right hand corner, we've got another one quite nearby it, and then we've got one much further in the back. But what you might notice if you're really being observant is that there's a space for another rocket, but the space is empty. Why? The rocket has already launched. So this image, presumably taken around the time that we're going to be playing the map itself, has three rockets, which is a lot of rockets, but then another one would have been there had we been there to see it, but it's already blasted off to wherever the hell it was going. Now, I'm not going to speculate a huge amount about what sort of rockets these are, I think the foreground ones look suspiciously similar to the V2s that we see in the Black Ops 1 campaign, that same campaign mission which contains Germans in their winter military uniforms, which are exactly what we see in The Giant. Is that a connection that needs to be made and explored more? Quite possibly. If you want me to, then let me know in the comment section down below. One of the things I am sure a lot of people are going to bring up here in the comment section, on Twitter, on Reddit, on Facebook, wherever they might be discussing this, they're going to be saying things like the following. Mr. Rothwaffles, Ascension, to get to the Pack-a-Punch, what do you have to do? You have to launch a rocket. The rocket goes up into space. Where else have we seen rockets? We've seen rockets on the moon. We launched rockets from the moon, and where do we launch them to? Back to Earth, and they blew the damn Earth up. So maybe there is a link here between Ascension and the map. Maybe it'll even tie into the Easter egg. Maybe it'll just be a little hint, a story sort of nudge in the right direction for something or other. Or maybe it'll be nothing at all. Those are all potentially completely valid opinions, and I'm sure a lot of you guys will be sharing those sentiments in the comments. My personal opinion right now is as follows. I think that just because a rocket has launched does not mean necessarily that this is 100% a link to Ascension and we're going back to Ascension and Ascension's going to be playable in the map and all that sort of stuff. I don't think we need to go quite that far. That said, I do think that it's super cool that Treyarch are getting us talking about old maps again, maps that some of you guys might not have even played. A lot of you guys, I'm sure, didn't necessarily buy the DLC for Black Ops 1, and so you might not have played Ascension, or at least might not have played it very much. Ascension was a really classic map, in my opinion, and it looks like Der Eisendacher, or however you pronounce it, is sort of drawing some thematic elements from it, namely launching rockets, and also pooling some ideas from maps like Call of the Dead as well. Anyway, don't want to keep you guys for too long. I have been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, then leave a like. If you haven't, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be explaining the full story of this map when it comes out and really digging into the nitty gritty details of the storyline. So if you're interested in that stuff, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you very soon. Actually, I have a couple of really cool storyline videos coming in the next couple of weeks, so you don't want to miss those. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.